the Royal Shakespeare Company was doing a season of Spanish Golden Age plays, and I was sent quite a few plays to look at to see which one I might be interested in directing. And I chose this a particular play by Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz. I found it very funny. I was, I, when I read it, I, I was amazed at how funny it was. One just became really interested in her as, as a person because she did have this extraordinary life. It's a play about a nun who lived in Mexico in the 17th century and who was extremely uh, beautiful and extremely talented and extremely intelligent. And what happens in the story is she comes into conflict with the Roman Catholic Church. And it's at the time when the church is all powerful and at the time of the Inquisition. So she's on very dangerous ground. Her story has all the ingredients of a, a good, strong play. It felt like there was just enough to fire my imagination, but not enough to cripple it. You know, I wouldn't want to write just something that slavishly tried to um, let everybody know about this woman. So many of the characters in the play, not all of them, but so many of them are real people or were real people. And even though Helen obviously has to sometimes conflate them to, you know, to make it into a play, um, it's just, uh, it's really interesting looking back and seeing, okay, well, the, the person this is based on, what do we know about them? And are there some clues there that would be useful? You want the cast to go away and investigate their characters, but you also have to keep flagging up that it's possible that what they find out from history is not how those people are necessarily going to be represented in the play. We are not doing history, that finally it's a play and it's about something more than uh, a biography. The play tries to look at several things regarding faith, one of which is the relationship between creativity and faith and how people have to, you know, tr try to find a way to reconcile those two things and how they can feed into one another. And it's also, I think, it's a play about faith as a personal venture or a personal journey. Sister Juana does have, does have a very strong faith, and obviously she's Catholic, everybody was at that time, but she is trying to, she is trying to forge a way of, of, of taking her own journey with her faith, whereas the church and the, the, the archbishops and the bishops are wanting her to simply tow, tow the line. And in those days, towing the line meant really accepting the idea that if a woman strayed from writing uh, holy material, that she probably, that she might be infected by the devil. It's a very serious subject and um, it's very moving, I think. Uh, but it also has a lot of comedy in it. I just want people to come in and have a, an exciting night in the theatre and to be made to think about all sorts of issues um, relating to their own lives and you know, their own faith and all those things.